Hi there, you are going to join Jenny and me as we go to the Goodwill in Ephrata. I usually don't go to this Goodwill because it's kind of out of my way, but we were literally driving past the exit. It was later in the day, so I wasn't quite sure what I would find, but I'm pleasantly surprised with what I found. I thought that this might be Talavera Mexico pottery because of the bright colors, but I don't think it was, and that nativity set was missing Jesus, so I left both of those pieces on the shelf. And then over in the white section, this Avon piece, I thought, this looks like the piece that we saw that was broken in Chillington, and I wondered if that's what we saw broken on the shelf. There was only one of these cherry blossom teacups, so that also stayed there. And then, doesn't this remind you of Wallace and Gromit, that face, the mouth, <laughs> the buggy eyes? I thought that was pretty funny. They had both of these for sale together, which was nice to see instead of pricing them separately. Those were $2.99, and this creamer was also $2.99, but it did have a chip on the rim. Stepping back and letting you have a look on the shelf, see if there's anything that you spy. I spied these, I think they were placemats, corked backed placemats, and I found it interesting that they had motivational sayings on the placemats. They didn't look like posters to me. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. <laughs> that was okay. That fell over. It wasn't broken. Just kind of knocked over a little bit. This frosted glass juice pitcher was in good shape with no chips or cracks, but had a lot of surface markings on it. I don't know who her name, but she's like a female stitch. Oh, okay. She, is she a bunny? She dressed up for Easter. She's dressed up, she's dressed up for Easter. Aw, that's cute. I don't remember her name either. Yeah, oh, look, she has these things. <laughs> she's a little bows in her little <laughs> She's cute. I'm probably... She's like... She's like... Oh, look. I'm probably not haunted. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> why That's funny. I want to see the thing. Don't buy it. No, I'm just showing it. That's funny. There's a angel. $6.99. Why are you $6.99? Oh, you're blurry. There we go. $6.99. I wonder if this is signed. Why are you so much money? This might be Costa Boda. Maybe. I have a sticker from the. This could be Costa Boda. I never know. Unless it's marked. It's really heavy. And here's another one. It's really heavy too. I also have these glasses. Hand painted. Why didn't they just look? They split up the set. <laughs> look, they're like you can only buy two at a time. Why not group them all together? Why? Why Goodwill? <laughs> That's nicely painted, $3.99. Isn't that nicely done? Mm -hmm. Cute. That I don't really understand. <laughs> it's like a cross made into a ghost. Are these Avon? No. Oh, they are. <laughs> I was right. Is this broken yet? It's a hummingbird with a big old beak. And here is a fake Hummel. Alpine children. It's a little cardinal. Oh, and some tires. <laughs> what? Why? Hmm. Goodwill. And now it's at this Goodwill. This is, oh gosh, this is old. That's old. $4.99. That's really old. They are dancing and having a good old time. And that is a pig. <laughs> Why is his eye so big? Why is his head huge? Like, I don't know. Can you do that? Call with his butt and send this. <laughs> I'm going to get you one. <laughs> you were distracted by the pig. That is cute. But I won. Let's see. What's that? What's that? One of those, uh, where 
take those things. Those like little food items. Oh really? Like that is cute. Here, I mean, so can't move this out of the way. These are not marked. Three ninety nine. Are these marked? No, they're not marked. Why aren't you marked? These are twelve dollars. Twelve dollars and twelve dollars in their old melamine bowls. That's crazy. It's another sand art. It's coming apart though. Let's see. And then she also found this thing. It's so like plastic. Why maybe Yoda? Painted it. I don't know what's going on there. Here's some cups and saucers. Tuscany. Those are pretty. The little disruptions in the sound is to fool the bots so I don't get demonetized. Sis mug. Simply incredible sister. I like doing the voiceovers, but I also like you hearing Jenny and me talking and shopping and the sounds of the store, but sometimes the music is just a little bit too loud. Lots of blues. Oh, yeah, that's neat with the oh it looks like it's missing the some of the water to make it glittery. Pretty teapot. Let's move this out of the way. It looks Mexican. $3.99. Has some, yeah, that's a Mexico tonala, but it has some chippies on it. <laughs> the board count looks like a paint splat. A little bit. Like that's $4.99. It has chips, unfortunately. That's pretty. Oh! Oh, it has a uh, lighthouse on it. I was not expecting that. I thought it was just uh, swirlies. That's really lightweight. Okay. Is this an England one? Yes, it is. That's a pretty one. That's nicely done. It's easy. These could be good for a porch with some wicker. God, is this? This is pretty. And it has Perot on it. Oh, he's a local potter from Lidditz. And it's only $3.99. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I am going to get this stuff. Because I'm crazy. I don't know if I'll get that. I'm going to look it up on Worth Point to see if it's worth it. I might just get the bowls. Because I don't feel like packing and shipping cups and saucers. Yeah. Okay, we'll just get the bowls. Can you point to the bowls? They're over here. Nope, those are saucers. Nope, Sorry. those are cups. <laughs> point to the bowls. Yes, right there. It's the same thing. <laughs> we're just, we're gonna open. get those. We'll put the others back. The These are the bowls. <laughs> the pot. Shush, from the top of the same. <laughs> These bears. Oh, what's this? $2.99. What does this say? This says Joanna Parker. Let's look up Joanna Parker. Here's another one. Is this, I don't think this is, he's kind of weird looking. He's shaking his head. And I don't think this one is either. Oh. That was made in the Philippines. What about uh oh, what'd you do, Jenny? Manager to the register. This one here. Why would you want a snowman head? This is coming off. I think it's like coming off here. Okay, we'll just. Here's some nativity, it's all brown. That one is five dollars. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this is for? No. You put toothpicks in there. Someone made that. I have an old one in my for sale in my store right now. What were you doing? Were you getting a drink? Or were you washing your hair? Hey! What is all this? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you so messy? 
Are you going to clean that up? Huh? Are you going to clean that up? Here is everything that I picked up on this trip to Goodwill. Very happy to find this pot. It's so pretty in such great condition. Extremely happy that I found this piece. Be sure and keep your eye out for them. And I did get the bowls. Sue from Washington, my fairy godmother, I like to call her, sent me another, uh, actually sent me a couple boxes, and I wanted to share with you what she sent me. I think you'll really enjoy it. She sent me a whole collection of elephants that she had found. These are salt and pepper shakers. They are marked Japan. At first glance, I thought these were made out of polymer clay. They're not. She said in her note that they are made from crushed oyster shells. So I'd like to do some more research on that because I've never heard of that. And it would be interesting to learn the process of how they make the uh, crushed oyster shells into these cute little figurines. Here you have a set of three redware made in Japan elephants. Looks like two little babies and a little larger, slightly larger mama or papa. And then over here is a little trio of made in Japan elephants. You can see they all have, they kind of go together here. We have an elephant playing the saxophone, one in the back playing the violin. Here's a little Wade Whimsy down here in the front. These two are similar and they are marked Japan on the front. You can see that there. And then of course, the this little trio is just dancing to the music, I think. And then over here is three again. These are marked, uh, have a sticker made in Taiwan. They have a cute little butterfly uh, on the top of their heads. This one, as you saw, it does have a little round bottom, so you do have to kind of give it a little help to sit, but once you get it to sit, it stays very nicely. I like the added butterfly decoration to them. And then she also sent this necklace and I kind of <laughs> like it. She said she liked the rhinestone eyes. I like the vintage vibe to it. It reminds me of 80s, early 90s. I like how it's gray and it does have a little um, damage here to the clasp, but I think someone could fix that or you could wear it if you were just aware of it because it, it would hold but that would probably need be need to be fixed. But you could also use it as a display if you collect elephants. So I'm gonna show you what else she sent to me. Up next, we have a Fiesta Wear trivet in purple of a dancer. This is what the back looks like. And this really cute salt and pepper shaker set. They are plastic. I think they're super adorable. And these three angels here, let me get them in focus. My phone updated and it updated to a thing called professional video. And it's, it, I like it, but I also don't at the same time. These all have stickers on them that say, designed by Lennox Candles, handcrafted in Taiwan. And I think these are adorable. Again, I like the white on white, so it can go with any holiday decor that you are going with. She sent this creamer and sugar. And before I, when I was unwrapping, I thought, oh gosh, this looks like Belique. And I turned it over and sure enough, it was Belique. I will look it up. It's always fun to figure out the age, uh, when these were made, you can look these up on Google, how to, um, how to, how to age, how to, how to find out what, you know, when they started using that R, that will give me a clue. Oh, here's Sue. She's helping me. Hi, Sue. Uh, that will give me a clue of how old these are. They have a beautiful pattern to them. You can see it there. It's so sweet. And then those are in beautiful shape. They're so delicate. And then here is a really neat piece. These are uh, different and they have a mirror on the other side of the lid. There's this design. Now this one does have a little bit of damage to the mirror, you, as you can see there. That's a little chip down there at the bottom, but it's still a beautiful piece. It would look neat on a vintage dresser, part of a uh, display. And then this really cute little mirror is marked Godinger, and it is uh, made in China, but it goes very well, I think, with these these three pieces kind of look, they complement each other very nicely. All right, stay tuned, there's more. Look at this beautiful, beautiful vase. This is a red wing. It is marked on the bottom, 
Red Wing USA. And the colors you are seeing is true to life. I'm right here by a window to get some natural light. Of course, there's a light on behind me, but it's a very pale, light green, kind of creamy color. And here is a Fenton Angel. She had this as part of her display, and then she realized it didn't really go with her decor, so she is passing it on to me so I can pass it on to you. It is so sweet. Look at the little bird there. And it has the little textured wings. This is a cool music box that plays when time goes by. I will show that to you in just a second. I like how it looks like a vintage radio. And then I love a wall pocket. Look at this wall pocket. It's a hat. Isn't that neat? I like the simplicity of it, again, because you could dress it up with, you know, seasonal flowers. You could add things to it. I think, I don't know. I really like that. I'll have to think about that, but it probably will go for sale, but maybe, maybe I'll enjoy it for just a little bit. You'll have to see. Okay. Let me wind up the radio so you can see how that plays. I'll be right back. I did have it playing all the way through. It does show its age, of course, with every musical piece, but it does play. And again, I really like the look of the old time radio. Stay tuned, there's more. I have said in the past that I usually don't pick up decorative plates. And in that case, I'm talking about the Danbury Mint, the mass produced where there's, oh, there's Indy behind me snorting, <laughs> uh, where there's, you know, numbered out of 10,000 pieces. I definitely would have picked these up if I had seen these in my store. This is because of the winter scene, the bird, and it is made by Lennox. It is marked on the back. It is Lennox made in the USA. If I understand that correctly, that means that it's an older piece. This is Winter Greetings Chickadee. So I definitely would have picked up this plate. And she did point out to me that there was a tiny little flaw in the design right there, but I think overall it really, is very very sweet nice part of your winter display you could keep that up until spring I would <laughs> it's red and green perfect for Valentine's and Christmas uh, Valentine's and St. Patrick's Day then I would definitely have picked up this plate if I had seen it as well this is also made by Lennox with the three birds it is made in the USA and it is winter greetings scenic Beautiful, two beautiful plates. So definitely would have, there's always an exception to the rule. I've said that before too, but I definitely would have picked up these decorative plates if I had seen them in my store. And then speaking of plates, she was given these plates by her friend who got them in Germany. She told me that there were supposed to be four plates. One broke in her friend's suitcase, so she never got the fourth one. And I was just looking at them as I was putting them on the piano to film them for you. And I don't really feel that one is missing. Now that you know that they're seasonal, you could say, oh, yes, probably had a winter one with snow. But I really think that these three make a nice little vignette, a little, tr I keep saying trio, but it is it's a nice little set of plates for your wall. Let me give you a close up of them. Isn't that nice? And then on the back, ready to hang. I really like the graphics on it, the design of it. And then here is the last one. Aren't those neat? And I will be selling these three together to keep them together. Thank you again, Sue, for sending me your treasures. I appreciate you allowing me to pass it on to a new home. So we know that they will be greatly appreciated by you, the viewer. I hope you saw something that you liked in this video. These will all be listed soon in my store. The link to my eBay store is in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this shopping trip to the Ephrata Goodwill and the haul that Sue sent me. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.